Today in our 2007 Toyota Tundra, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Takancha Prodigy P3 Proportional Trailer Brake Controller for 1 to 4 axles, part number 90195. To help us get that installed, we're going to be using the Takancha Plug-in Wiring Adapter, part number 3040-P. This is what our brake controller looks like when it's installed. What this is going to be good for, this is going to allow you to apply the brakes from your trailer while it's being towed. In turn, saving the brakes on your truck so it doesn't have to stop the trailer. The trailer is going to be able to slow itself down. These arrows right here on the left side, these are going to be your gain setting. You can see it goes up to 14 and goes all the way down to zero. Now this is going to allow you to set the maximum amount of output or amount of output that you're wanting to apply to your trailer brakes. This is going to be a proportional brake controller, which means it's going to have a sensor inside. It's going to detect the deceleration of the truck and apply the appropriate amount of braking force to the trailer. For instance, if we're in an emergency situation and we have to slam on the brakes in the truck, that sensor is going to detect that. It's going to send that amount of force to the brakes in the trailer, slowing that trailer down in turn saving the brakes on the truck. This button here is going to be for your boost. Now, your boost setting, you're going to have three, and then you're going to have an off boost. Now, if your boost set off, that's going to be for a lighter trailer, maybe a small trailer that's unloaded. The higher the trailer weight in reference to the weight of the vehicle, for instance, if you get a trailer that is the same weight as the vehicle, you are going to probably want to be boost two, when the trailer weight goes over the weight of the truck, you're probably going to want to be set at boost three. What the boost is going to do is that's going to adjust the aggressiveness of the braking force sent to the trailer brakes. Again, saving the truck brakes from having to slow that trailer down. This button here on the bottom, this is going to be the manual override. Now, whatever your gain is set at, it's going to go to that amount. What the manual override is for is let's for instance you're going down a hill and your trailer starts to go offline a little bit or you have an emergency situation and your trailer is swaying you can apply the brakes in your trailer without having to apply the brakes in the truck that's going to help you get that trailer back centered back behind the truck to help you gain more control so what's going to set this brake controller apart from others is it's going to have a customizable lcd display it's going to allow you three different languages and colors to choose from. It's also going to have five storable settings for different size trailers or different trailers that you may be pulling. You're going to be able to select electric over hydraulic or electric trailer brakes. But what I really like about this brake controller is instead of it giving you just a signal, this is going to actually put words on the screen. So if your brake controller or your trailer is not connected or comes disconnected, it's actually going to tell you no trailer connection on it. You can change your brightness, your color, and your contrast. This is where we change our brake type, electric, hydraulic. Now as far as this installation, it is very simple and straightforward. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. So to begin our installation, we're going to take the white end of our adapter plug, and we need to find the matching end. Now if you look right up here behind the emergency brake pedal, right above this panel, you'll see a plug. Very easy to get to. We're just going to take our white ends, plug them in together until you hear it click. Next thing we need to do is we need to mount our ground wire. Now what I like to do is try to find an existing uh, nut that is mounted to the body, make sure it's on metal. If you look right here behind the emergency brake pedal, there's a nut. You can see our ring terminal is just a little bit too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with the bigger one. See ring terminal for a 10 to 12 gauge wiring. So we'll cut off this one. Strip this back. We'll crimp it down. Give it a little tug. Make sure you got a good connection. And we'll take a half inch socket with a fairly long extension. We'll take that nut off. Add a ring terminal, and then replace our nut. Next, I'm going to route my adapter. What I want to do is I'm going to find some existing wiring up inside here that I can zip tie or secure it to. I'm going to run it across. 
You want to make sure it's over on this side of the steering wheel. The reason you want to stay away from this side is when you're getting in and out of the truck, you take a chance of damaging it or hitting it, knocking it off. Next, I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to take some black electrical tape. I'm going to cover up my wires, just kind of help it blend in with the brake controller itself. Just kind of make it look nice. Next, we're going to mount our bracket. It's going to hold our brake controller onto our dash. You see, our customer had something pre-existing uh, he had here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same holes. I'm going to make sure that I'll be able to put my bracket there. And it looks like we'll be able to fit it. So we're going to take the screws we, that comes in our kit with our brake controller. Put that in place. Now we can mount our brake controller to our bracket with our provided screws. Once we have it installed in our bracket, we we'll plug it in. And as you can see, we have power. When the screen's red, it says no trailer connected. Once we've connected to our trailer, you'll see a little truck with a trailer behind it. Once you see that screen, you're ready to go. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Deconcha Prodigy P3 Proportional Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195 on our 2007 